Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome if you're new here and welcome back if you're a current subscriber or seen my videos before. My name is Adriana, I'm a certified personal trainer and here on my YouTube channel I talk about PCOS, I do at home slash gym workouts, some vlogs here and there. Like we're doing today, we are going to be making a cooking video. So specifically we're making a garlic herb roasted carrot zucchini and potato side. So I love making this, especially when you're making a big dinner or if you want to put on a meal prep or just finding new ways to like quickly cook potatoes and your vegetables at the same time. This is a perfect recipe and I'm just using this as a pointer. But I already have my oven preheating to 400 degrees because that's what we'll be roasting our vegetables at. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, my carrots have already been washed, but we're gonna go ahead and peel off the skin. So it's gonna do this quickly here. I'm using three medium-sized carrots. We're gonna discard the skin once we're done peeling it. If you haven't already, trim off the ends. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna peel all the carrots. Perfect, we're going to discard the skin. I have a side bowl ready to go right here because what we're going to do is just cut up our carrots into about inch size. Yeah, about an inch. This one's a little bigger. And toss them into the bowl next to us. Same thing. On to the zucchini. For the zucchini, you do not have to peel it. Just cut off the ends and make sure it's washed. washed. So here's our stems, we don't need those. This end is fine. And again, we're just gonna cut cube them up like so. So you don't wanna make it super thick. You also don't wanna make it super thin. It's a little nice quarter inch chunky pieces. I'm gonna add them to the same bowl as the carrots and make sure your zucchini does not roll away when you're doing this. Okay, on to the potatoes. I am using a pound and a half of golden potatoes. Now you could use petite potatoes. Unfortunately, they were not available at the store when I was going there because a lot of things are sold out for Easter weekend. So what we're gonna do, you could take the golden potatoes, go ahead and slice them into like so size pieces. And no, you don't have to peel the potato if you thoroughly washed it. Okay, perfect, on to the next step. All right, next step, we're gonna add in some olive oil. It, this is the herbing process. So a little bit of olive oil, just enough to coat everything. So I'm pretty sure I put about two tablespoons in there, maybe a little bit more. We're gonna put in garlic powder, and this is to taste because I am a garlic girly. Pepper to taste. Some salt to taste, just a little bit. Put 
put in some thyme. Sprinkle it in there. And some oregano. Looks like I gotta buy another bottle of oregano. Okay, we're gonna now go ahead and mix everything together so everything's evenly coated. All right, perfect. Now that we evenly coated all of our veggies, we're gonna go on to a pan that's filed with oil. Go ahead and just put all of our veggies on there. Evenly spread them out. All right, perfect. Once our oven is done preheating at 400 degrees, we're gonna go ahead and place our potatoes and veggies onto the middle rack of the oven and allow them to roast between 25 to 30 minutes. Be back when they're done. Alrighty, our roasted vegetables are ready. I'm really looking forward to this. I've been actually craving, like I've been on this carrot kick for like the past two weeks. So now that I'm able to put a carrot in one of my recipes, we'll add it in. I am super excited. So I'm gonna eat all three together and it's time for the taste test. This is it. This is gonna be my side for the rest of my meal preps for like the rest of the month. I absolutely love it. I love how like juicy the zucchini is, the flavor of the carrots and the potatoes, the seasoning, the crisp, crisp of it too. I love it, please make it, go make it. It didn't take more than like 30 minutes when the cooking, whoops. So technically like 35 minutes maybe with all the chopping total. Definitely make it, make it for your next meal, make it for your next family or friend gathering. Just make it. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Highly recommend it. Jam packed with nutrients and antioxidants from everything put in here. It's a nice balance with the carbs and the, like the potato carbs with the vegetables around there so it won't offset your uh, sugar, your blood sugar levels. Again, I recommend it, absolutely delicious. And if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button to keep up with future videos as I make more delicious meals as is. I do appreciate you guys watching my channel and interacting with it and supporting me for the past, I think, two years I've been doing this YouTube thing. But before I continue rambling on, I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys off. I will weigh this out first my meal preps and I'll see you in the next video.